Welcome back to our study in, of uh, differential calculus. Uh, recall what we were uh, doing last time. Uh, we had just uh, finished uh, seeing what angle between radius and tangent when curve is given in the polar uh, form. That's what we had done. So let me very briefly recall what we did. Uh, so PB, uh, so R equal to F theta B sum curve, polar curve given in the polar form. That means as theta changes, R changes. How it changes is what is given by this equation. And P R theta B, any point on this curve and then we draw a tangent to the curve at point P and I will call the intersection with the initial line as T. Uh, angle between this tangent and the positive x-axis, I'll call it psi. psi. And uh, angle between the radius vector OP and the tangent as phi. So all this we had seen last time. So let me just very briefly recall uh, GeoGebra. So, I mean, let me illustrate this using GeoGebra. This is the initial point and this is the ray. That's the initial line. And here is a curve, polar curve. I pick up an arbitrary point P on this curve. Then I'll write uh, the R of that point. R means basically distance from origin to that point. And then this is theta. Theta is the angle between the radius vector and the positive x-axis or initial line counterclockwise and means in this direction and then I draw the tangent to the curve at point P as you can see the as I move point P the tangent that means as I vary theta r tangent also varies and then uh, in any case I'll call the point of intersection of tangent and the initial line as T and this angle as psi and this angle is phi. Phi is the angle I'm on the lookout for. Phi is the angle between the radius vector and tangent vector. You can, uh, in this diagram, I have shown it like this, but you can also think of it as the angle which is vertically opposite to that. That means OPT, angle OPT is same as phi. So this is all this we had uh, seen before. So in general, what I'm doing, let me uh, recall, given a polar curve i take an arbitrary point p on the polar curve as the point moves you can see r and theta r theta varies uh, r and theta vary according to the equation of the curve in this particular example i have taken a particular curve but in general i don't know I, it could be any curve r and theta uh, means r and theta could vary in whichever way one wants and i draw a tangent at p uh, it intersects my positive x-axis at P and this angle psi and phi both are varying. What I want is I want phi in terms of R and theta. This is what we wanted to do. This is what we did also. So then what did we do? Uh, so this is what I just explained to you. Uh, you took a point on the polar curve, drew a tangent, to the curve at that point and named phi and psi uh, r theta i want phi in terms of r and theta this is the a how did i do that so uh, you take that arbitrary point p let its cartesian coordinates be x and y then i know x is r cos theta y is r sin theta then i'll use chain rule to find dy by dx parametric differentiation I get this to be equal to tan theta plus r d theta by dr divided by 1 minus tan theta r d theta by dr. All this we had seen before, so I will, I'm sure you will can let me go fast. If you want details, you see the previous lecture where I have done these things in detail. Also, dy by dx means slope of the tangent line, uh, which is tan psi, because that's the psi is the angle between the tangent and the positive x-axis. Uh, but by geometry, you can see psi is same as theta plus phi, which means 
tan psi is tan of theta plus phi for which I have a formula tan of theta plus phi is tan theta plus tan phi divided by one minus tan theta tan phi. So on the one hand, I get expression for dy by dx to be this. This means tan theta plus r d theta by dr divided by one minus tan theta r d theta by dr. On the other hand, I get it to be equal to tan theta plus tan phi divided by one minus tan theta tan phi. When I compare these two expressions, I get that tan phi is equal to r d theta by dr. That is precisely what we are looking for. I want phi in terms of r and theta. So phi is tan inverse of r d theta by dr. But just we don't have to say phi is tan inverse. If you just say tan phi is r d theta by dr, that is sufficient. So for this, we saw an example. So here is a curve given. This is the given curve r square cos 2 theta a square. In the example, I took particular value of a. I think I took a equal to 2 and figured out what this curve is. And then we had done this. Uh, I will not spend time on that again. Uh, the picture, I'm sure you can all draw this uh, using some graphing uh, software. Uh, so how do I, so for an examination point of view, of course, I want you to understand that here is a curve. You take a point on this and draw a tangent, mark out phi, psi, r, all those things, theta, and then write, I, I, I know that tan phi is r d theta by dr. So how do I get, so d theta by r d theta by dr is what I want to compute. So that means differentiate this with respect to r. I will get 2r cos 2 theta minus r square 2 sin 2 theta d theta by dr. Why do, how do I get this? I had explained this last time. You, this, if I differentiate this with respect to r, differentiate the given equation with respect to r, uh, r and theta are the variables. Uh, so when I differentiate this, I'll get, I'll use Leibniz rule. I'll call this as r square as u and cos 2 theta as v. So d of uv is du into v plus v into du sorry the uh, u into v d of u into v is du into v plus u into dv so here d of r square is 2r and i'll write cos 2 theta as it is and then i'll write r square into d of cos 2 theta which is minus 2 sine 2 theta so I write it and theta is dependent on r. So it is d theta by dr by chain rule. Right hand side is zero. So I encasp, I write all these things in this equation. 2r cos 2 theta minus r square 2 sine 2 theta d theta by dr. From this I can find d theta by dr, usual manipulation. Uh, in fact, I want r d theta by dr. So I'll write, I mean, you can divide by r, 2r actually here, this equation, and you'll get r d theta by dr is cot 2 theta. Basically, you take cos 2 theta to the other side and sine 2 theta will come to denominator, which means this is equal to cot 2 theta. So tan phi is, I know this is the formula which I derived tan phi is r d theta by dr and just now I got to know r d theta by dr is cot 2 theta. So tan phi is same as cot 2 theta. Cot 2 theta is same as tan of pi by 2 minus 2 theta. This is kind of formula you must be familiar with from your class 12. That's what I told you in the beginning that your class 11, 12 calculus, you must know it well. Otherwise, you won't be able to solve many problems here. So tan phi is pi by two, and uh, tan phi is tan of pi by two minus two theta. So phi is pi by two minus two theta, which means phi is pi by two minus two theta. That's what you know, tan of something is equal to tan of something else. Those two angles are equal. Okay, we had seen this, so I will not again spend time on this. Now let us try another example. Find the angle between the radius vector and the tangent for this curve. So algebraically, you do the same thing what you did before. It's, a, it's like a template. You Every time given, uh, uh, just one minute, try to recall what it is. Here, I'm given a curve, and I want the curve is given by this. A by R is equal to 1 plus B cos theta. As theta varies, R will also vary. A and B are fixed constants. A and B could be any you know, real number, 1 and 2, 5 and 7, minus 2, minus uh, seven or whatever, uh, any two real numbers. So for different real numbers, you will get different curves. Uh, so how do I find, so you take, pick up any point on the curve, join the radius vector with 
join that point with the origin to get radius vector draw a tangent to that point to that curve at that point an angle between the radius and tangent is what one is asking for so all this uh, maybe one can show it using uh, geogebra first so let us see i think i have made uh, example 2 this is the one so this is the initial line and c is the curve given by uh, i think a is equal, a and b are taken something uh, a seem to be what is a let's check a is something in the numerator of r so uh, this is r so i have to simplify this this will give me r. i mean in this geogebra a becomes r so r into r by 4 okay so probably in this example i have taken a equal to 4 and b equal to 3 so it is 4 by r plus 1 plus 3 cos theta then you uh, rewrite this uh, that is what i have drawn this curve this curve will look like this so if for a particular value of a and b maybe 4 and 3 or 3 or 4 or whatever you just figure that out that's not an important point in fact you have to do it for general a and b but for geogebra i need to take particular values for a and b so i have done it like this uh, i have taken some particular value 4 and 3 maybe uh, correct yeah 4 and 3 uh, then this is how the curve looks like so i'll pick up an arbitrary point on this and then i'll uh, draw this r and then i'll also have to get theta uh, r theta is there and then i have to draw tangent to curve p and then i want this angle phi is what i want actually of course this is a particular case means a and b are fixed i want it to be independent i mean not independent but i want the angle phi in terms of r and theta that's what I want. I don't care. I mean, in terms of A, B, R, theta, everything. Here, A and B are particular values. So, this is not a, a complete picture. This is an example of that example. You know, this example tells A by R equal to 1 plus B cos theta. In this GeoGebra, I have taken A equal to 4 and B equal to 3. So, this is not, this doesn't give complete picture. It just tells you what is it that I am looking for. This angle is what I am looking for. So just, just to carry out the computation, you don't need to know particular values of A and B. So what do I do? Same standard thing. You just differentiate this with respect to uh, d theta by dr. So differentiate with respect to r. I already illustrated. So differentiate this with respect to r. So a by r, if I differentiate that, I'll get minus a by r square. a is a constant. So I'll get minus a by r. And right hand side, you differentiate with respect to r. 1 is a constant, of course, 0. Plus uh, b cos theta, you want to differentiate with respect to r. So b, I can take it out. Cos theta, if I differentiate, I'll get minus sine theta and d theta by dr. That's what I have written here. Minus b a by minus a by r square is b sine theta d theta by dr. There's no equal to zero here. This is wrong. This is a mistake. So I'll kill this. This is what we get. So if I differentiate this given equation with respect to r this is what i get minus a by r square is minus b sine theta d theta by dr uh, so this i'll get so everywhere this zero should not be there uh, one minute i think i'll have to kill this uh, every step i have to go and do it this is the problem with uh, my way of typing ppt the zero is not there everywhere so just give me one minute i will keep changing
If I don't do it now, afterwards I'll forget this. So I might as well do it right now. Just give me one minute. It will be done. You can see the solution, how it work, pans out. I will, yeah. So now it's correct, I suppose. Yeah. So I want to find the angle between radius vector and tangent for this curve. Differentiate this with respect to R. So left hand side I'll get minus A by R square. Right hand side I'll get minus B sine theta d theta by dr. So now basically I want R d theta by dr. So here I, it's easy to get d theta by dr, which is you take minus B sine theta to the denominator. So A by R square B sine theta minus and minus go away. Uh, which means if I take one copy of R here, it will become R d theta by dr, which is A by R into 1 by B sine theta. But I know why, why I'm trying to do this is I'm trying to uh, use the equation of the curve also here. So uh, anyway, you can see it's all just simple algebraic manipulation. So R d theta by dr is A by R into 1 by B sine theta, uh, which means tan phi is this we know uh, tan phi is r d theta by dr. So r d theta by dr, which is r means 1 plus b cos theta. See, I've eliminated r altogether in this. r d theta by dr is 1 plus b cos theta into 1 by b sin theta. How do I get this? a by r is nothing but 1 plus b cos theta. So that's what I have substituted here. So tan phi is, which is r d theta by dr, is 1 plus b cos theta into one by B sine theta. Uh, this means phi is tan inverse of one plus B cos theta by B sine theta. That's it, that's all, you have to do this. So template, as I said, is the same thing. Given equation, you differentiate with respect to R and find an expression for R d theta by dr. Uh, and then equate that to tan phi. So phi is tan inverse of something. So this is only in terms of theta. If you retain this R, it will also be in terms of R. That's all. There is nothing sac sacrosanct about reducing it to this uh, form. One likes to do it because in a picture, in a diagram, if you know theta, you have found phi. So you can see it in GeoGebra whether this is right or wrong. But uh, uh, for given values of A and B. Note, this thing seems to be independent of A. A doesn't seem to be occurring here at all. So these are just observations. From examination point of view, all you need to do is differentiate this with respect to R, write the expression R d theta by dr equal to tan phi, and phi is whatever. So let us try one more example. Find the angle between the radius vector and the tangent vector for the curve R is equal to a sine cube theta by 3. Uh, I will, without showing the diagram, I'll do it. Just how this is how you are expected to do in the exam. So differentiate the given with respect to given equation with respect to r. So here I'll get, if you differentiate r, I'll get 1. And here, uh, uh, right hand side, I'll get a is constant. So I'll retain a, differentiate sine cube theta by 3 with respect to r, which means 3 sine square theta by 3 into cos theta by 3 into 1 by 3. Remember the chain rule. That is what it is. If you differentiate this with respect to r, r derivative of r with respect to r is 1. Now let us differentiate right hand side with respect to r. So right hand side a is constant, so I pull it out. Then I'll get only d by d uh, uh, r of sine cube theta by 3. So sine cube theta by 3 means 3 sine square theta by 3. That's the first term I write. Then I have to differentiate sine theta by 3. I'll get cos theta by 3 into theta by 3, I mean derivative of theta by 3, which is 1 by 3 into d theta by dr. I hope you understand these kind of problems, how to solve these kind of problems. Basically, it's chain rule, which you must have done in your class 11. There you may not have used theta or you may have used y, x. If you want to uh, understand that this is same as what you had done before, you think of this as sine cube x by 3. 
instead of theta, you think of it as sin cube x by 3. Differentiate sin cube x by 3 with respect to x, with respect to y. I mean, some other, uh, it's not, you're not differentiating with respect to theta here. You're differentiating with respect to r. So if you differentiate sin cube x by 3 with respect to y, Oh no, normally you don't do that. So you try, sorry, you try to think of it like this. Sine cube y by three, think of it like that and find dy by dx. This is sine cube y by three and find dy by dx. So then you will see, you will get this three sine square y by three into cos y by three into y by three into dy by dx. That's what we have done here. Instead of y and x, I have theta and r. That's all. Anyway, this is, elementary case of chain rule. So I hope you understand this chain rule, how to apply here. Uh, again, I'll explain. A derivative of sine cube theta by three is three sine square theta by three into derivative of sine theta by three, which is cos theta by three into derivative of theta by three, which is one by three into d theta by dr. So it's the chain rule. Uh, repeatedly applied once, twice, thrice, four times, you applied chain rule. So yeah, examiners like these kind of problems. This is nothing to do with the new polar equations or polar form of curves. They're just trying to test you whether you know chain rule well, which you have learned in class 12. That's all, nothing else. So now from this, you have to uh, find out what is d theta by dr. So simple algebraic manipulation, d theta by dr is this whole thing goes to denominator a sine square theta by 3 cos theta by 3 somehow i want to get I, I, I basically i don't want d theta by dr i want r d theta by dr so if i multiply this by r which means i multiply this by a sine cube theta by 3. so that's what i have done here oh okay why do i want r d theta by dr i because that is tan phi so tan phi is r d theta by dr which is equal to r means a sine cube theta by 3 so i'll write a sine cube theta by 3 into d theta by dr which is 1 by a sine square theta by 3 cos theta by 3 here sine square will get cancelled and i'll be left a will also get cancelled i'll be left with a sine theta by 3 and in the in the numerator and the denominator it is cos theta by 3 which is tan theta by 3 which means phi is same as theta by 3. let us try to see this so again you see note this is independent of A. A is not shown in, showing up at all here. So these are nice observations. But for examination point of view, this is what I have shown you on the screen is what you need to do. Differentiate the given equation with respect to R. So that means basically you should know how to differentiate with respect to R, basically chain rule. And then find R d theta by dr. So from this you have found d theta by dr, multiply by R and R is also given to be a sine cube theta by 3. So you write a sine cube theta by 3, replace r by a sine cube theta by 3 and simplify this. Uh, so, okay, let's just, before we go to the next one, let us see the GeoGebra uh, implementation of this. This is not required for you from the examination point of view, but I would like to show you uh, so that you understand actually what it is. Just one minute, I want to open example three, there is this. Oh, example three only is the only one I have not done. Okay, so I'll not, I will not. have not shown you the GeoGebra implementation of this, uh, I, but it's straightforward, it's the same thing. It's not a big deal. If you want, we can do it right now. It's not an issue. Um, so let us open a new one and do it. Then you will also learn how to do these things on GeoGebra. So let us see the problem. Problem says, what does the problem say? Uh, yeah. It is a sine cube theta by 3. So a sine cube theta by 3, I'll take a to be some value, 4, let us take. Let us take 4. Uh, so r is equal to 4 sine cube theta is not really required for you exam from exam point of view but it's worth learning these things so this is how the curve is drawn 
this is 4 sin cube theta by 3. Now pick an arbitrary point on this. Yeah. And uh, I want to draw the initial line also. So let me just do that. I want to pick two points. One is origin. Just a minute, I don't think I'll do this now. It's taking a lot of time. Doesn't matter. Not intersect. Why is this happening? So O is there, and uh, I want to pick a point here on this. So draw a ray. And then I'll get rid of grid. I don't need that, so I don't want grid, I don't want axis. I don't need to see C also. I don't need F. Yeah, so now I'll draw a tangent. How do I draw a tangent? Tangent to a tangent to the curve at this point. Now, as I move this, you will see the angle also is changing. You see, okay, let's show you some more angles. So this is the R, this H, what you see is H is my R. And this angle is theta. So how do I get that angle? Uh, this angle is C, B, A. This is theta. Yeah, that's why I normally draw the diagram beforehand and keep it because it takes some time to draw in GeoGebra, but it's worth doing. Sometime you will have to learn all these things, you see. So that is theta and this is R. You can see how the point is moving on the curve. Yeah, and now I want this angle, uh, slope of this. This is theta is here, phi is what I want. Phi, uh, what I want means I want angle between the this segment R and this tangent. See, this is what is called as phi. So it's phi it's here. Okay. So this is and this angle is psi. I don't need to show that. So as I move this point on this curve, 
we can see sorry that one more small change had to be done the angle name i had to change it to phi yeah so this is the angle phi so this is the curve this is the curve which was i forgot the name of the curve curve was this a sin cube theta by 3 a means a i taken it to be 4 and as you move the point you can see r theta and phi changing i want to know how they are related so i have given you already the answer is here theta phi is theta by 3 let us just check whether it is really true phi is theta by 3 you see theta is here 127.15 phi is one third of it as you keep changing yes in fact it does happen like that theta is 90 degrees phi is 30 degrees you can see that so what we have this is geometric way of looking at what we have uh, derived uh, algebraically so you can see that phi is always theta by 3 always you take any phi any uh, angle means you move on this curve wherever you want so if it is 270 you see the phi, theta is 270 then obviously phi is 90 correct you can see all those things so all that we have done is means i, I just want you to understand geometrically what we are doing it's the relation between phi r and theta it so happens r is immaterial in this uh, i mean immaterial means it doesn't show up in the final expression of phi in terms of theta and it is theta by three and uh, you can also see that it is independent of what this um, a was that is instead of four let us try to take something else and see what happens let us take uh, eight and see the whole thing uh, it doesn't happen it can i mean i'll have to redraw the whole thing it will take time but i'm sure you can do it so i will not bother about it right now uh, so this is what drawing the curve on geogebra means as you move here you can see phi is theta by three of course here in this case theta uh, no this is which curve yeah okay anyway doesn't matter i have shown you that phi is actually theta by three uh, theta depends on what the value of theta is sometimes it becomes the uh, phi is 45 degrees okay phi is not becoming zero for phi to become zero the point will have to be on the origin itself which means theta is zero that's okay okay anyway i know um, this was a bit uh, painful thing because you had to see something which is not there for your exam but this is the way to, to understand this r theta there is a relation between r and theta and what we have done is we have found r d theta by dr algebraically here by differentiating and equating tan phi equal to that i given you geometric interpretation of all these terms that's what i have done in my previous geogebra illustration so let us take one more curve let us quickly do be done with few more examples so this is another polar curve r is equal to a e power theta cot alpha where alpha is a constant and radius so you want to show that um, for this curve radius vector is inclined at a constant angle to the tangent at every point that means uh, i want to say the radius vector is the angle between radius and tangent is always constant similar case is similar is the case when you take circle when you take circle angle between radius and tangent vector is always 90 degrees here i'm not saying it's 90 degrees i don't know it's some constant is what i want to prove for examination again blindly you can do this the geogebra illustration will do it later blindly for examination you can do this differentiate the given equation with respect to r so you will get you differentiate this with respect to r you will get one is equal to you know you should know how to differentiate something power so this is a cot al alpha is constant so cot alpha will come out i mean e power a x kind of thing e power constant times x so it will be constant times e power a x so that's what constant is cot alpha here so one is equal to a times cot alpha e power theta cot alpha cot alpha is constant remember and you are differentiating with respect to r so i'll get a d theta by dr i hope it's clear how I got this equation. 
differentiating this i'll get differentiate r with respect to 1 r i'll get 1 differentiate right hand side with respect to r a is a constant cot alpha is also constant alpha is given to be a constant so a i'll pull it out and remaining part is e to the power of theta into cot alpha differentiate that with respect to r theta is dependent on r alpha is constant so it's like e power some constant times theta so derivative of that with respect to r is i'll take out whatever is constant it will come down I mean differentiate differentiation of e power a x like that this is x think of theta as x and cot alpha as some constant c e power c x derivative of that is c e power c x c here happens to be cot alpha so e power c x that's what it is and d theta by dr because after all i'm differentiating with respect to r so this is how you get this uh, derivative so one is equal to a cot alpha e to the power of theta cot alpha into d theta by dr not this is nothing to do with deep uh, understanding of polar curve this is just got to do with you should know how to differentiate that's all it is chain rule uh, this is nothing but uh, a, I, I know here already a into e power theta cot alpha is nothing but r so a into e power theta cot alpha is r so i'll get this to be r cot alpha into d theta by dr i just use that r itself you know a into e to the power of theta cot alpha is r that's all i have used uh so this means i'll get uh what do i get so r d theta by dr is one by cot alpha which is tan alpha r d theta by dr from this r into d theta by dr if i take cot alpha to the receiver i mean to the other side it will become one by cot alpha which is tan alpha so r d theta by dr but the r d theta by dr is tan phi so tan phi is r d theta by dr which is tan alpha so phi is equal to alpha which means uh, phi is constant problem over but i want to see this in the sense i want to see geometrically how this is true this is of course this is all true we have proved already that uh, you know you do this differentiation and you get phi is constant phi is the angle between the radius vector and the tangent so let us try to see the geogebra uh, illustration of this. This is example uh, five, I suppose. Is this example five? One minute. Uh, I think we made a mistake. One minute. Sorry. This is example. Four, no wonder. And so the curve, and I felt it is different. So example four is what I want. This will come later. Is example four. Mm. Here it is. So this is the curve. This is, you see, this is the uh, curve. I taken a to be four. See, this is the curve which you are considering. R a into e to the power of theta cot alpha in my example here i have taken a to be 4 and alpha to be 30 degrees a to be 4 alpha to be 30 degrees so i have plotted this curve this is the curve a equal to sorry r is equal to a e to the power of theta cot alpha and an arbitrary point p also i have taken and now this is r r is the join of origin with the point and then this is theta sorry this is alpha this is my theta and uh, as i move p on the curve you can see r and theta varying now what i want is you draw a tangent to the curve at point p and this angle this is the angle between the radius vector and the tangent vector this is the radius vector r and tangent here the angle between them is alpha i know it's a bit difficult to see here so i'm drawing it i'm taking the see now you can see this is the point uh this is the angle alpha so as i move p you can see what is the angle i want to look for but you see as i move p alpha is not changing at all alpha means sorry here 
this ang alpha is in my language uh, what is known as phi this is what it is mm. so phi happens to be 30 that 30 basically came because this alpha is 30 so you can see what we have drawn what we have got earlier is correct means what this uh, alpha phi is same as alpha is correct i can verify this using this geogebra so try to understand geogebra is only to understand what's happening here this was the curve given and here is the radius vector an angle between radius vector and the tangent remains constant all the while here it's all the while it is 30 degrees it is not changing at all it's a beautiful curve I means it's a funny you know a beautiful curve it has a lot of nice properties tangent and radius vector are always at the same angle between them so this is another example like this i'm sure we have more examples uh, i know examples keep getting boring now but uh, let me be quick in this find the angle between the radius vector and the tangent for the polar curve this also find the slope of the curve at this uh, that's okay uh, means first find the angle so uh, will illustration geogebra illustration i'll do later because first uh, let's see from the examination point of view differentiate the given equation with respect to r i'll get one is equal to a sine theta d theta by r. that i'm sure i hope everybody understands this differentiate this with respect to r i get one differentiate this with respect to r a is constant so i'll just pull out a Dif derivative of one minus cos theta one is zero derivative of one is zero derivative of minus cos theta is sine theta d theta by dr that's what i had done a sine theta d theta by dr and then d theta by dr is equal to r d theta by dr is what i want to find which is tan phi tan phi is r d theta by dr so that is r into d theta by dr is one by a sine theta so this is nothing but r is nothing but a into one minus cos theta so i substitute the value of r here a, a get cancelled and i'll get i'll you'll have to rewrite and all this kind of you know use trigonometric identities to somehow bring it to a standard form somehow i want tan here so how do i do so one minus cos theta is two sine square theta by two you, this is a very important uh, identity all of you must know that cos square theta minus sine square theta is uh, something is there no what is it uh, cos two theta cos 2 theta is cos square theta minus sine square theta from that you can derive 1 minus cos theta is uh, 2 sine square theta by 2 uh, similarly sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta which means sine theta is 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 Oops. so a into 1 minus see these are all nothing to do with polar equations polar curves or any such thing this is all your class 11 12 trigonometry you could simplify this so that i can write it in terms of tan that's all question is here rather that's what the procedure is so 2 sine square theta by 2 divided by 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 so sine theta gets sine theta by 2 gets cancelled i'll get one sine 2 also gets cancelled i'll get one sine theta by 2 here and one cos theta by 2 so it is tan theta by 2 so tan phi is tan theta by 2 so phi is theta by 2 that's what it says uh, find the slope of the curve at theta equal to pi by 6 yeah that's okay slope of the curve is tan phi uh, so uh, tan phi at theta equal to pi by 6 pi by 6 means so uh, so in general anyway just one minute i'll tell you so tan phi is tan theta by 2 means phi is theta by 2 this part is over next part we are trying to find find the slope of the curve at theta equal to pi by 6 so slope uh, so psi does not uh, psi is tan psi is uh, remember in our picture psi is the angle between the tangent and the positive x axis so i want to find tan psi but psi i know is theta plus phi where theta is the r theta theta angle and phi is the angle between radius and tangent vector so, so psi is the external angle and these two are the interior opposite angles so psi is equal to theta plus phi so tan psi is what i want to find so tan psi uh, so just now i figured out that phi is same as theta by 2 for this curve phi is theta by 2 so you substitute phi is theta by 2 here psi is theta plus theta by 2 is 3 by 2 theta so tan psi is tan 3 by 2 theta 
uh, where theta is pi by 6. So tan of 3 by 2 pi by 6, which is tan of pi by 4, which is 1. So let us verify this. What is it that we have to verify? Let us check. R is A into 1 minus cos theta. So R is A into 1 minus cos theta. This I want example 6. So I have already drawn this. So you don't need to uh, waste our time in... Uh, there is example six. I can't see. Ah, here it is. Uh, uh, yeah, this is example six, which means uh, this is the curve. Uh, what I have taken R is equal to four cos two theta. So four cos two theta. Here, how did it come? A into one minus. Oh, so example five. Sorry, sorry. This is the example five. I have taken example six there. And that was a mistake. I was also wondering, cos cannot give this kind of curve. So example five is this. Yeah, this is the curve. So this is four into one minus cos theta, as you can see here. Four into one minus cos theta is what I have given. This is the curve. And you take an arbitrary point there. You take R, you take theta, you try to draw the tangent. You find this is the angle which I want to find. Uh, so I, I, you can see as P moves I let it be there. P I'll move it a bit away. Yeah, as P moves. You can see phi and theta changing and theta value is not come here uh, why it has not come so this i'll call it theta oh god i'm sorry So this is phi and theta. So this is usual. And this angle is psi. I want, uh, what do I want here? See here. Phi is theta by 2. Let us check whether that is true. Phi is theta by 2. So this must be half of theta, which seem to be correct. Theta angle is given here. Somehow it is not showing here. So maybe you should try to show it. Uh, it is not showing. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter to me. You can see this is theta. 88.94 and phi is 44.47. This is actually half of this. You can see that this angle is half of this angle as a move point P. See theta is 70, angle phi is 35, whatever, 30, 70.66, 35.33. Like this, you can check for various values. This GeoGebra is only to check. It will not give you the proof. For proof, you have to do this part. This is what is there in the exam. I'm showing you GeoGebra just to make you understand what we are doing. The geometry is also important. So this is phi is theta by two. And I want in this problem, uh, I want uh, slope of the curve at theta equal to pi by six. So pi by six means 30 degrees. So when theta is 30 degrees, so let us make it smaller. Theta is 30 degrees. So here it is approximately. We want to know what is uh, uh, which angle they are not written here. So this actually what happens is uh, it's it will become actually uh, no, this angle will be 45 degrees. This angle this angle slope of the curve means slope of the tangent so you can see it's becoming one this is slope 45 degrees when theta is you see here theta is 30 degrees uh, this angle is 15 that's okay that is the angle between the radius and the tangent but i am interested in this angle now angle between the tangent and the positive x-axis looks like 45 degrees why it looks like you can see it here uh, if you mention it here probably it will show up also so I don't want phi, I'll not show phi. I'll only show, yeah, correct. This is the correct thing to do. Mm, so theta, let me just make it slightly bigger. 
I don't want R, so let me throw out. Uh, when theta is 30 degrees, you can see psi is how much you can see here. Uh, so as I reduce theta, how do I reduce theta? You can see I let me move it closer. That's all. You can see theta is 30 degrees. Phi is actually 45 here, 30.5. So it's 45.75. Uh, so I have to move it very carefully, this one, so that it actually becomes 45. So anyway, you can see um, that what we have drawn is correct because this it is tallying with this example. For exam, you don't need to do any GeoGebra implementation. It is just this mantra that is given equation you differentiate with respect to r find r d theta by dr and uh, um, uh, where did it go tan phi is r d theta by dr so phi is theta by 2 and you want slope of the curve at theta equal to pi by 6 yeah okay then you have to do this psi is same as theta plus phi and phi i just found it to be theta by 2 so psi is theta plus theta by 2 which is 3 by 2 theta and at theta equal to pi by 6 tan psi is this much it's written here so i think that is sufficient or how many more examples are there let me check uh, okay maybe there is only one more example this i will very quickly go through without showing you any GeoGebra implementation because that's what will take time this part is very easy uh, prove that normal at any point pr theta on this curve makes an angle n plus 1 theta with the initial line that means you given a point on the polar curve and you want to say if you draw normal to the curve at that point that makes this much angle with the initial line is what the question is so i will not show you geogebra illustration instead i'll directly show you how to go about it I know angle between the tangent and the radius vector. Now I want to somehow find out angle between the normal and the initial line. So obviously I have to use that psi thing somewhere. So we differentiate the given equation with respect to R. So this you should know how to differentiate this. If you differentiate that, this is what you will get. I have done it here. NR or N minus 1. So cos N theta you have to differentiate. So you will get minus sin N theta. N, sorry. If you differentiate cos n theta, you'll get minus n sin n theta, d theta by dr. That's what I have written here. A power n is constant. It is written there only. So tan phi, which is r d theta by dr, is equal to r into d theta by dr is from this equation. I'll get n r power n minus 1 divided by minus n a power n sin n theta. Now r is same as... Uh, so sorry, I'll simplify this. R is here and R power n minus 1 is here. So together it will become n R power n. But R power n is same as a power n cos n theta. So this will become minus cot n theta. So tan phi is minus cot n theta. Cot n theta is same as tan of pi by 2 plus n theta. So phi will become pi by 2 plus n theta. This is the easy part. Uh, next part is also easy, but just you have to understand what we are trying to do. Unless you draw the picture, it will be difficult for you to follow. But I'm just showing you without any figure once because this is what is expected in the exam. But to understand, you have to draw. So phi is pi by 2 plus n theta. Phi means, remember what it is. It's the angle between the radius vector and the tangent. Uh, but now I want normal and initial line. How do I do that? So recall, psi is same as theta plus phi. Psi is the angle made by the tangent with the positive x-axis. Hence, the angle between the tangent and the initial line is this much. Angle between the tangent and the initial line is this phi. Psi is theta plus phi. Phi is just now we saw it as pi by 2 plus n theta here. So I'll substitute this in this. So I'll get this much. So psi I know. So consequently, angle between the normal and the initial line, I know it is pi by 2 minus uh, this minus pi by 2. Uh, you must, unless you see the picture, it's very difficult to understand this. So be, uh, you know the angle between the tangent and the initial line. Now you want to find the angle between the normal and the initial line. So that is, uh, difference is pi by 2. So psi minus pi by 2 is n plus 1 theta. This is what is expected. But those of you who want to learn, just see the GeoGebra implementation of this. That is when you will understand actually. 
otherwise it will just be formula 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 so let us check example 6 uh, example 6 uh, here so this is the curve and uh, this is the curve or oh, whatever is the curve given i forget what the curve is 4 cos 2 theta uh, so here you see what i have done here is this is r power n is a power n cos n theta i have taken n equal to 2 r square is equal to a square cos 2 theta a also i have taken 2 so i'll get r square is equal to a square cos 2 theta that is the curve i get there are two uh, so this is that's what i have written r square uh, is 4 cos 2 theta that's the curve and take any point on this take uh, radius vector take the theta draw the tangent and now i what i want is the normal also normal to the tangent this is i want angle between this and the positive x-axis so that means what i want is this angle now this angle i know how to find so basically i want to find this angle so let us take this and uh, uh, i want d p b that is the angle which i want d p b this is the required angle remember this this is the required angle this one and that when point p is moving see when point p moves that angle is what i am looking for so how do i get that angle so i'll close this required angle part uh, this angle i'll get by finding this angle this angle is the angle between the tangent and the initial line which is phi and this angle plus pi by 2 is this angle because exterior angle is some of the interior opposite angles so this angle is pi by 2 plus this so this is equal to this minus pi by 2 that is what i have uh, shown here this angle psi minus pi by 2 is the required angle i hope it is clear uh, you can spend time on looking at this GeoGebra illustration, trying to see various uh, aspects which I have told. I think I'll stop here. Uh, we will see more. We will not see more examples now. Uh, I will try to give you a um, uh, different picture, angle between two curves and things like that is what we want to do next, which is what we will do in the next class. So today I just illustrated to you several examples of finding angle between radius and tangent vector and in the process i have also shown you how to find angle between the normal and the uh, positive x-axis that's the initial line thank you